Hey, what's up, guys? My name is Red Cloud. Today, I'm going to be teaching you guys how to optimize and boost FPS in Call of Duty Warzone. But today, we're going to be doing it on an AMD card. And honestly, this has been a request by hundreds of people on my YouTube channel and on some of my most popular videos. A lot of people want AMD cards. So today, I've got an i5-8400, 12 gigs of RAM, and an RX 570 on this PC that I'm working on right now. And... This is as good of a mid-tier PC as I could build as a good example for you guys who have mid-tier PCs or if you guys just got new PCs for Christmas. Um, this is going to be a great, you know, platform for you guys to build your, you know, boosting on and stuff like that. So without further ado, let's get into it. All right, guys. So the first step to optimizing our games is updating Windows. So to do that, we're going to hit our Windows key and we're going to type update. And we're going to hit check for updates. Now, this is important because some of the key features to optimizing our gameplay is going to be through the Windows update. So definitely hit check for updates. Windows updates is going to check for an update. And we're going to hit check for updates. And if an update comes up, that's crucial. Not I'm not saying it has to be like an optional update, but like a crucial like core build update. Definitely update it, install it on your computer because we're going to be using some of the updates to get the best bang for our buck when it comes to FPS boosting on Warzone. Guys, before we continue on with this guide, I just want to let you guys know that I'm live every day at Twitch TV slash Red Cloud. If you guys would love to check me out, I definitely would appreciate it, as well as subscribe to the YouTube channel. We are literally almost 100 subscribers away from partnering here on YouTube. It would be just a blessing and a dream if you guys could help me out and achieve that huge goal of mine. I would seriously love it. Um, and like I said, guys, I'm live every day at Twitch TV slash Red Cloud. So if you guys want to come by and play with me or just hang out and chat, I'm always there. So be sure to join our Discord. We're super active on there as well. So catch you guys later. Be sure to like this video and subscribe, right, guys. So after you've updated Windows, what we'll do is we'll go to our AMD drivers. Because this specific video is made for AMD cards, we're only going to be going over AMD software. If you guys need the best NVIDIA drivers, I do have a YouTube video that has done really really well if you guys want to go check it out it's up on the video right now all right guys so when you're ready to hop into the amd radeon software we're going to click radeon software or you can look it up on your computer and we're going to go to gaming and gaming we're going to go to global graphics and then we're going to the quick cut version of that video that i did earlier uh i just set everything to the esports and then i fine-tuned some stuff over here if you guys want to check out that video go ahead and check it out up up top but personally i just hit it up to the esports one and then that's about it that's all i set it to other than that for amd drivers there's not much that you can do other than changing like your render resolution a bit but that's about it as far as AMD drivers go. All right, guys. So let's get into some more specific Windows things. What we're going to do is we're going to type graphics settings when we hit our Windows key on our computer. Graphics settings brings up graphics settings here on the Windows um, browser here. And then what we're going to do is we're going to set preference for Call of Duty Warzone. We're going to hit browse and then we're going to find where we have Call of Duty installed. I have Call of Duty installed on my storage. Uh, so it's right here, Call of Duty Modern Warfare. And then the application is what we're going to be trying to find. So the application is going to be the biggest size. Once you have the application, you're going to hit Add. And then we're going to go to Options. Options is going to let us decide what how we'd like to go about doing this. A lot of people who get you know, new PCs don't understand how this works. Basically, if you have Intel, an Intel processor, whether that's a core i5, i3, i7, i9, whatever it is, um, you have two options. You have using power saving, which is using integrated graphics, which is crap, by the way. Uh, if you have a laptop, I'm sorry. Uh, if you have high performance, it automatically uses your RX card or your RTX card or whatever card you may be using, whatever has brought you here. What you do is you hit save, and this will dramatically improve your overall FPS if your computer was automatically setting it to integrated graphics, and not to mention just in general. So once you've done that, and by the way, you can do this for any game. So if you play Fortnite, Rainbow Six, whatever it may be, definitely do this for every specific game that you play. And this will dramatically help 
quite a bit. The next thing that we're going to be doing is we're going to be hitting our Windows key again, going to settings. This is the easiest way I find to be able to do this. And I go to gaming and then I make sure to take everything off gaming. Everything needs to be turned off. Game mode, honestly, it's subjective. I find that it honestly doesn't do anything. So I just take it off. I feel like having it having to launch every time I play a game is kind of like annoying and it's a hindrance to me so i turn it off i know i've recommended it in the past but i think honestly having it off is just a better peace of mind for me so that's what i do when it comes to windows and that's about it as far as windows goes for our settings all right guys so the next thing that we're going to be doing is we're actually going to be messing with call of duty's files just a little bit not too much we're going to go to file explorer we're going to go to where call of duty's installed we're going to hit storage we're going to go to where we have it actually installed call of duty modern warfare for me and then we're going to go scroll down go find the application here in the folder and i'll make this a little bit bigger so you guys can see what it looks like and stuff like that so modern warfare is right here and then i'm going to right click it go to properties and then I'm going to go to compatibility and I'm going to disable full screen optimizations. And then I'm going to change high DPI settings. And then I'm going to override the high DPI scaling behavior, hit application and allow it to be on application. Press OK, press apply, press OK, bam. The full screen optimization thing that we just changed, basically what that does is it reduces input lag and also it just makes it run better when it's in full screen mode which is what we're going to be running call of duty warzone in all right guys so the last step before we get into warzone is i personally downloaded this app called quick cpu and what quick cpu does is it basically unparks your cpu cores so that they are running at full speed that way you get the most amount of performance what after i use quick cpu i got an average of about like 10 plus fps while like in fights or just in a house or whatever it was like i saw a huge performance gain when i used this program so quick cpu if you guys don't know what it is it's in the description below by the way so if you want to download it go check it out right there um what it does is it unparks your um cores like i said and it also turbo boosts everything so if you guys have like everything on on like low and stuff like that it'll boost everything it even tells you your cpu temperature your cpu speed it also tells you about your ram and stuff like that so if you guys haven't used this program in the past i definitely suggest it i think it's really good uh and it even tells you about your processor as well so all, all you do is you you know tick performance all the way to the right all the way to the right on everything and hit apply Changes successfully applied, and basically your computer's running at full speed. So it will use more wattage, but you get more performance. So if wattage isn't a problem for you guys, I mean, go ahead and just use it. It's basically literally like free performance that your PC has. All right, guys. So our last step is to hit up Warzone, launch All it All right, up. guys. So let's get into the best settings for Warzone. And I'm going to be going over low-end PCs as well as mid to high-tier PCs as to I'd, what I'd recommend for your settings and stuff like that. So let's go over to our options tab. And for every, uh, no matter what kind of pc you have you always want to be running this game on full screen mode unless you have like a super high-end pc obviously it doesn't matter uh, but run this thing on full screen i promise you it'll run so much smoother uh, for your monitor you keep it as is um displayed after i have an rx 570 screen refresh rate you want this on the highest one possible for your render resolution if you have a high-end pc you want this on 1920 by 1080 i would recommend uh, if you have like a mid to high npc setting this to 95 percent you will lose like a little bit of clarity but you'll gain like five plus fps so i think it's worth it um so unless you know what you're doing just keep this at 100 percent uh the other thing is if you have a low end computer what you do is you take your display resolution and you turn this down to 1600 by 900 now it's gonna look a little bit blurry but trust me, the amount of performance that you get out of your graphics card and like how much more FPS you get is totally worth it. Um, especially, you know, in Warzone, like frames really do win games. And I personally play on 1600 by 900 if I'm not, you know, doing this for a video. Um, so aspect ratio, keep this on automatic. 
display uh your sync every frame disable that keep that off custom frame rate limit what i do is i cap my fps at 120 because if i push my um fps too much my cpu starts to bottleneck basically meaning that it hits like its ceiling and it starts to throttle down its performance so i don't see more than 120 fps while i play but that's up to me so basically so basically what I do is I cap my FPS at 120 FPS because what I look for is smooth gameplay rather than like getting the most amount of FPS because personally at 120 FPS this computer maxes out. So if you guys have ever experienced any stuttering or lagginess while you're playing it might be because your FPS is a little too high. So what you should do is you should cap your FPS just a little under your monitor's refresh rate or if it's at 60, just keep it at 60 or 50, honestly. I feel like, honestly, 50 to 60, you probably won't tell the difference. So definitely try and check this out. Um, if you have a high-end PC, like literally you know you get 240 frames, then type 240 or 220 or 200. Um, or if you have like a very high-end PC that you know can handle it, you know, 144. Uh, but honestly, don't be afraid to, if, especially if on some lower NPCs, just cap your FPS at like 80 or 90. And trust me, the stable frame rates are way better than like super high frame rates. And then they dip down like set, definitely, definitely worth it. So other than that, as far as everything goes, if you have a graphics card under two gigs of VRAM and you'd know if you have one because it will show you right up here. Uh, if you have under 2 gigs of VRAM, you want everything on low. Absolutely everything on low. Um, disable everything and keep it keep it there. If you have a 4 gigabyte card like this one, or if you have like a 1050 Ti, um, you could set everything to just very low and just keep it that way. Or you could put your text resolution slightly higher. Slightly higher resolutions like end up sometimes pushing your card a little bit more. So it's just something that, you know, to food for thought if you wanted to try it out if you have a six gigabyte card or more you could set this to normal and texture filtering to a little bit higher particle quality a little bit higher and stuff like that uh, i personally like i said i only have a four gigabyte card so i keep mine under the the red line um and i just keep it at like low to like um to like very low and stuff like that and that honestly is about it if you're running this game on like ultra settings um if you have like a super high end pc just run everything on like ultra settings and you'll be chilling um but yeah guys that's about it as far as the fps and you know all this stuff goes i promise you that if you guys actually did the optimizations from the first half of this video plus these settings your fps will be something like you've never seen before so I'm going to hit apply, but I'm actually going to change my resolution to 1600 by 900, which is honestly what I'd recommend if you have anything less than like a new PC, um, because like you'll literally, you won't lose that much quality and you'll gain so much more FPS. So I'm going to hit apply. All right, guys. So I hit apply and it does look a little bit blurrier and you can tell it does right so what you could do is you could change the render resolution and you could up it but honestly i'm not even going to i don't think it um i don't think it looks terrible and i think it looks pretty All good right. so i'm going to queue up for a solo so you guys can see what type of fps you guys can expect on like you know an i7 or an i5 with an rx 570 or if you have an amd card that's a little bit better than this one you might get even more fps All right, guys so let's drop honestly i have no idea where i want to drop we're getting a consistent 80 plus fps right now 112 fps pretty sick not gonna lie to you 120 fps i'm gonna drop over here on this house this guy's gonna beat me to it of course why are there three snipers on the ground Anyways, guys, we're getting like 100 FPS while playing in, you know, a house and stuff like that. We're achieving like really stable FPS and stuff like that. Um, and yeah, the game feels really, really smooth, especially like just getting 100 plus FPS that like feels really good. Um, I managed to find a UAV, so I'm going to see if I can go snag somebody real quick. I think I grabbed a sniper. Yeah, I did. 
guys out here. I don't see him. Oh, that dude's flying. Body tagged him. Dang. I hit those. <laughs> Yo, um... Oh, they're zooming. They're... Oh my... Dude, I do it for you guys. You know what I'm saying? I hit those, baby. Oh my... Later, buddy. I just wrecked these fools. Holy crap, guys. Anyways... Yeah, my, my frame rates feel really, really solid. Um, overall, you know, I think the performance stuff that I did earlier really helped out a lot, especially with, like, the um, overall just performance of my computer and stuff. And, yes, I am just casually... Ah! Getting shot in the head! Oh, rest in peace. Rest in peace. Nice snipe, man. That was a nice snipe. Yo, get the, get the hell away from me, dog! No, I'm cute, but damn. All right, boys. This one's for you. Uh, uh. This one's for you, boys. Oh, what the fu- Okay. Oh, my- Okay, guys. I can explain, okay? It was a tactical way to get to this outro, okay? Guys, thank you guys for watching the video. If you guys liked it and it helped your performance, definitely give it a thumbs up. I'd seriously appreciate it. The last video I got almost has actually over 50,000 freaking views. That's crazy as hell, okay? Thank you guys again for watching the video. Be sure to subscribe. It literally would mean the world to me. Um, seriously, it's always been my dream to be a YouTuber. And I'm obviously a YouTuber, but just to do it like full time and stuff like that would be amazing. Guys... Have a blessed new year. Thank you guys. I hope you guys had a fantastic holiday. Thank you guys for an amazing year. Thank you guys to everybody who has always been here with me. You know, checks out my stream and stuff like that. It seriously means the world to me. All my subs, all my followers and all that stuff. I wouldn't be here without you guys. I know who you, and you guys know who you guys are, especially, um, especially if you guys are a part of the tight knit community on our discord. Um, yeah, man. You guys are awesome. Thank you guys again. If you guys want to check out my socials, they're all in the description below, as well as join the Discord. That's in the description below. Thank you guys again. Peace out. If you guys have any questions or concerns, comment in the section below. Catch you guys later. Peace.